Step back to the mysterious realm of ancient Egypt, where the scorching sun casts long shadows upon a civilization steeped in wonder and awe. In this captivating era, royalty and commoners alike wove a tapestry of exhilarating existence, filled with monumental achievements, mesmerizing rituals, and whispered secrets that echoed through the millennia. It's an enthralling adventure to uncover the extraordinary lives led by the ancient Egyptians, a civilization shrouded in enigma and brimming with thrilling tales waiting to be unearthed. It has now become convenient to discover a lot about daily life in ancient Egypt due to Egyptian construction projects that featured numerous hieroglyphics and paintings. Ancient Egyptians left behind a wealth of information through hieroglyphic writings, paintings, and sculptures. Meticulous record keepers documented historical events, social structure, family life, occupations, clothing, leisure activities, and housing, providing us with valuable insights into their fascinating civilization. Between 5000 BCE and roughly 300 CE, ancient Egyptians were present in both Egypt and Sudan. Since the Nile River served as the main supply of water for drinking and cultivating crops, they primarily resided near its banks. The rest of the world is typically a desert, which is very dry, sandy, and stony. The majority of the population were farmers who grew wheat and barley as their main crops. Additionally, they possessed vineyards and orchards where they grew grapes, figs, dates, almonds, and olives. Vegetables and melons were also grown by farmers. Every year in the spring, the Nile would dependably overflow, sometimes spreading out to a width of a mile. It would go away and leave behind rich mud or dirt. The farmers would next use a plow pushed by two men or two animals to prepare the land. To break up the big dirt clumps, they would next proceed to sweep the area with a mathock, an instrument resembling a pickaxe. Women would manually sprinkle seeds from wicker baskets into the furrows once the soil had been prepared. The seed would subsequently be buried by a flock of sheep that had crossed the field. After planting, the fields were watered using ditches and canals. Occasionally, water was manually added to a canal one bucket at a time. Along with weeding, they tried to keep rodents and birds away from the crops. They would gather the grain after three months, perhaps with a sickle, a hand implement with a bent blade. Animals were given straws made from plant stalks. Beer was a better beverage to consume than water, which was likely tainted with microorganisms. The Egyptians also used grapes to make wine. The upper classes often drank wine, whereas the average person preferred beer. In Egypt, there were three social classes. The pharaoh and his large family were examples of royalty. People who were free included government employees, religious leaders, military personnel, and some commoners. Serfs and slaves made up the lowest class. Serfs were purchased and sold along with the land since they belonged to it. Early on in ancient Egypt, the majority of the population was serfdom. Slavery did not previously exist in ancient Egypt, but it was introduced by foreign warriors captured in combat and the prisoner's offspring. In ancient Egypt, scribes held prominent positions as bureaucrats, government officials, document copiers, and tomb decorators. Education was reserved for the privileged few, with only 1-2% to of the population being literate. Other occupations included soldiers, priests, servants, craftsmen, artists, and miners, with specialization in sculpture, furniture making, tool crafting, and mining for precious materials like gold and turquoise. Along the river, marshmen also did their work. They hunted, fished, and gathered papyrus, marsh vegetation that might reach heights of 10 to 12 feet. Paper and tiny boats were made from papyrus, which was also used to build homes. The marshmen captured birds in nets and speared numerous fish in the Nile. A minor percentage of the population consisted of business people. Business was conducted in ancient Egypt without the use of money until around the year 300 BCE via bartering or exchanging goods for one another. Some of the businessmen traded tall timber, spices, copper, tin, and other commodities internationally. Mining was considered the worst occupation because of how demanding the labor was and how dangerous the conditions were. The typical Egyptian toiled nearly every day in order to live. Days off were often reserved primarily for religious occasions, 
during which time crowds gathered to observe idol processions and enjoy free meals offered by a temple. Ancient Egyptians placed a great deal of significance on cats, using them as symbols for many different parts of their society and beliefs. They were cherished and regarded as sacred creatures because they were connected to the goddess Bastet. Cats were prized as domestic pets because it was thought that they would bring good fortune and fend off evil spirits. Due to their distinctive traits and mannerisms, cats were thought to carry divine energy by the ancient Egyptians. They had strong senses, which helped them defend crops and houses from harm and illness by seeing and hunting pests like mice and snakes. The fact that cats can see in the dark contributed to their mysterious appeal. Even accidentally killing a cat was seen as a serious crime that should be punished by the law. When a cat died, it was mummified, and this demonstrated the high regard with which cats were held in ancient Egyptian mythology and art. Their maternal instincts and capacity to raise their young also made them associated with the idea of motherhood and fertility, which had great religious and social significance in ancient Egypt. Ancient Egyptians enjoyed a bountiful food supply due to the fertile Nile region. The upper class indulged in a variety of foods like meat, eggs, figs, and grapes, while the lower class mainly subsisted on bread, onions, and plant-based protein. Fish was a common protein source, preserved with salt, pickling, and drying. Meat was a luxury reserved for the wealthy, and honey served as a sweetener in the absence of sugar. Spices and salt were also used to enhance flavors. Sports were a part of the ancient Egyptian lifestyle. Some sports, including archery, fishing, javelin throwing, and rowing, were likely first practiced for practical reasons before evolving into competitive ones. Egyptians also engaged in a kind of tug-of-war, boxing, and wrestling. There are still many instances of popular board games from this era. Primitive dice were used in certain games while throwing sticks were used in others. One of the most well-known games featured moving pieces across a board with holes for holding the painted sticks, and it was called Hound and Jackals. They went sailing on the Nile River, and they enjoyed music and dancing. Ancient Egyptian marriages were based on gift exchanges between families, with men marrying around age 20 and women often younger, perhaps 12 or 13. Love was valued, but not compulsory. Women held family and child-rearing responsibilities, engaging in tasks like bread-making and textile work. Marriages lasted until death, and although equal under the law, women faced limited opportunities outside the home. No formal wedding ceremony existed, as couples simply began living together after informing their parents and friends, with a property contract binding them legally. In ancient Egypt, pharaohs were seldom female. Divorce was also frequent but not favored. The wife was entitled to one-third of the marital estate in the event of a divorce. Nevertheless, other men just shoved the wife out of the house without regard for the laws or agreements. However, the purpose of marriage, procreation, was the same in ancient Egypt. This is compelling us to dig in more and unveil the shades of this realm. Could there be more interesting truths? We have delved into the captivating world of ancient Egypt, where mystery and marvel intertwine, and explored the rich tapestry of life filled with grand pharaohs, timeless rituals, and awe-inspiring wonders that continue to enchant us to this day. Do let us know your thoughts on this in the comments section below, and subscribe to the channel for more exciting content.